Welcome back, Cardboard Warriors. How's everybody out there doing today? We got the new Brothers War in. Uh, this is one of the set booster boxes. We're going to bust open and see if we get anything cool. Any Transformers hiding in here? That'd be cool. One in ten boosters includes a Transformers card. Uh, every booster in the uh, <laughs> the collector's box includes Transformers cards. Anyway, here we go. Let's break in here. While we're doing this, don't forget to check out the description below. There's a lot of good links down there. Save money, get your cash back on all your magic purchases. Or non magic purchases, even. Uh, Rakuten app down there is awesome. It's free cash back on any website you go buy stuff off of. So, doesn't even matter where you're getting it from. So, I need to download that app. Uh, got a little artwork on the top. That actually is pretty nice. No box topper, which is kind of a bummer. Get to meet Urza and Mishra. So, there we go. Toss that over to the side. Oh, thanks for all the shell. Hey, good luck or bad luck? I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> Uh, I think our pack piles are going to be off. Let's see here. I'll we'll put that one over there. Yeah, I think that's about even. <laughs> All right. Well, anybody mapping this box is going to have a tough time. We're going to have a bad time. All right. These are pre-released, so they're Japanese packs, so they're a little longer, a little looser, and they got the pull tabs, which never work. And first pack already having troubles. Yeah. Right. See what we get. We got our art card. Oh, that's pretty gross art there. Uh, I guess they're getting a little more. Yeah, I guess it's kind of just a scarecrow thing. There. Loosen up a little bit, I think. Swamp tilt or swamp basically in there. And then we got our commons, uncommons. That's a setback. So sorry, I'm being goofy. Artificer's dragon for a rare. Then a semblance anvil and the, the sketch art. Argoth sanctum of nature for a rare mainland. Secondary. Oh, and it's a half of a creature, too. All right, so that's pretty neat. And Mr.'s Juggernaut and a Ravage token. Okay, <laughs> that's pretty cool. The Transformer token. Man, I might actually have to collect the Transformers tokens from this set. <laughs> They're kind of neat. All right, art card. Cool art. Oh, basic land. Oh, bummer. All right, we'll put the good lands up here somewhere. Over there? Yeah, sure. Over there. Why not? And commons, uncommons, and nobody cares about. Right. Ornithopter for a retro frame. And Sky Strike Officer for a rare. And then a full common. And a Power Stone token, of course. Give me a lot of those in here. I have a feeling. A lot of card draw, a lot of Power Stones on this set. Oh, there's one of the schematic arts. That's pretty neat. I like it. Basically, and. Commons and Uncommons, Acorn the Wellspring, Richie and Dragon Engine, and a Fall Rare Siege Veteran, and just tokens, plus one, plus one counters. Yeah, we're off to kind of a slow start here. Let's pick it up. Come on, give us something good. Cool art. All right. Maze Mine Tome, and Elsewhere Flask, finally a Mythic, Portal to Phyrexia. And a foil uncommon and yeah, a flip token. Oh, yeah. There's flip cards. There's going to be flip tokens in this one. Look forward to that. Yay. Schematic uh, art. Gorgeous planes. And some commons and commons. Sigil of Valor. Kayla's Reconstruction. And an uncommon. And a Power Stone shard for our yeah, that very fitting uh, list card. Oh, we don't have enough room for list cards up here, too. All right, we'll put list cards over there. Taking up too much room with our retro frame artifacts. Okay. Oh, these packs. And pretty art card. Foundry Inspector. Cool. Cool card. Fateful Handoff. And Colin Wall and Advertising. Boo. So what are you guys thinking so far? Have you watched a bunch of the openings? Are you excited about the set? Can you not wait to get your hands on it? Are you going to pre-release? Let me know. Let me know all that and more in the comments. <laughs> Evolving Wilds. It's been a long time since we've seen that reprint. <laughs> Bone Saw, Schematic. That's cool. Visions of Phryxia. Intervention. And a Soldier Token. Wow, this box is really starting off slow. <laughs> I hope we get something good. Because, uh... Looking pretty slow. Pretty pretty weak so far. Cool art. And Ivory Tower. That's a good card. 
Mr. Command. Command cards look fairly powerful. We'll see what happens to them. Exemplar and Doctor Token. This is that Mr.'s one. Mr.'s Command is probably my favorite so far. All right. A fireball with extras. Gotta love it. Oh, Full plane. So, hold on. Battery warning. <laughs> Better get through this quick. Oh, oh, and then I mix up the piles to make it even slower. All right. Avenger, the Sardian Avenger. A little Goblin Warrior. Hey, a bobble. Nice. Fortified Beachhead. And a flip token. All right. I'm going to have to speed this up here so the battery doesn't die on me. That would be bad. <laughs> and there's our sign card. A foil of the pretty uh, lands there. And what do we got? Hey, Gilded Lotus. Nice. All right, we're starting to get some decent hits. And a Soul Guide Lantern. That's a good one. And the Felden, and Flanks Vanguard, and a Power Stone. All right, on to stack number two. Hold together, battery. Ooh, cool. We got the Sketch, uh, yeah, Worm Coil Engine. That's awesome. And a Key to the City, and the Stone Brain, and a Foil Millstone, and a Haraona from Saviors of Kamigawa. Going way back for that one. All right. Burn through this thing. Anybody care about the art card? There's the art card. Right. Nobody cares. Art cards are not a thing. Disciple for the commander card. Another ivory tower. Nice. Legions to Ashes. Crusher. And an Elspeth Undaunted Hero from Theros. Nice. So we got a mythic, but it was the list card. All right. Where's the good stuff? We need the good stuff. All right, schematic. Swampy. Hey, a friction processor. Uh, Mythic there. Soul Guy Lantern again. Titanius Command. Revenant. Eidolon of Blossoms from uh, Journey into Nyx. Not the Eidolon we'd like to see. <laughs> of course, the red one is the, uh, the powerful one there. All right. And art card, basic land, a bobble, nice, got a mistress bobble, that's good money, ash nod, visions of phyrexia, and a flip token, well, bobble's good money right now, we'll see what happens after this release, because they put it at uncommon, it may, uh, it may slump quite a bit in value there, so, Mistress Bobble may be a little more affordable, which is nice, because they're hard to get right now, and they're in a lot of decks, so. The Welcome, and hey, March of the Machines, very, uh, very fitting throwback to Mirrodin there. Mirrodin was definitely, a my, probably my favorite block to play during, in Standard. Uh, Mirrodin, and of course, Time Spiral, two of my favorite blocks, they're so good. All right, and hey. Perilous Vault for another Mythic. Uh, Brotherhood's End. Symmetry Matrix. And another throwback uh, all the way from uh, Betrayers of Kamigawa. Final Judgment. There's some good old cards on the list in this set so far. Alright, schematic. And another one. Aetherflux Reservoir. So now we're getting a nice stack of Mythics here. And a Springleaf Drone. Not too bad. Uh, Mishra, that's cool. So our first Mishra, I think, I've pulled. And Gixian, Gixian Infiltrator, Power Stone. All right, speed along here. These set boosters are always so hard for me to open, and they're even more of a pain to sort out. God, I sort so many cards, and these are not easy. Jellum Tome, Temporal Anchor, Rivalry, and Power Stone. So... I do prefer the draft boxes to open just because ah, they're faster to open and they're a lot easier to sort. But there is a lot more pretty stuff in the set boxes and they're just stacking a lot more cool stuff. Quicksilver Amulet, that's nice. That's a good one. Transmogrant and Power Plant Worker, those are cool. Uh, we'll see if anybody builds a Tron deck with all the, all the workers now. <laughs> That'd be pretty neat. And... Oof, that is really cool art. It's upside down. Ah, uh, there you go. <laughs> a swampy foil. And Foundry Inspector. 
Serenth Great Worm for our next Mythic, and a full Spring Leaf Drum, and a Ghost Away from Guild Pact. There we go. All right, last stack. Let's get some goodness here before my battery dies. <laughs> Come on. Oh, another. That's a, that's a big signature. It's hard to miss that signature. Look at that thing. Woo. All right. Picks up my ceiling fan very nicely in that one. Delsman, Swiftfoot Boots, Transmogger's Crown, and hey, to miss that for another Mythic in the list spot. That's pretty cool. I'll say they stacked up the list spot fairly decently in this one, which is nice, because some of these list spots have been just terrible. There have been some good hits. Oh, a third sign card? Wow, oh, I wasn't expecting a third sign card. Okay. Maybe they pumped those up a little, trying to get a little bit of a little bit of uh, activity on those cards. Because nobody cares right now. Liquid Metal Coating, Chromatic Star, Autonomous Assembler, and a Fall Common, and plus one tokens. Yeah. Yeah, I thought the signed cards, the signed art cards might be at least a little something because up here some people might want to collect them, but it doesn't, doesn't look like very many. <laughs> Sword of the Meek, Soul Guy Lantern again in the trenches for the next Mythic. The Dig Sight, Foil, and a Flip Token. So there's some people that collect the art cards in general and the signed art cards, but it's just not enough of them to put, make the prices anywhere near valuable at all. So <laughs> elsewhere, Flask, Mister's Foundry, another Common Foil, and another Power Stone. All right, let's see what happens here. We had a good little run of some Retro Frame Mythics, but then we kind of stalled out. And we haven't seen a Transformer yet, so that's uh, a bummer. Hey, talk about it, and they will arrive. Good old sound wave coming out. There we go. Finally got a, a Transformer. Ornithopter, Tonos, and a Fallen Common, and a Bear Token. So, one in ten packs, there's what? I don't know. 20 packs are in these things? 30? <laughs> Should get three Transformers. We've only got one so far. Foil Basic. 24? Uh, 30? I don't know how many packs are in here. Brothers of War Commander card. Bone Saw. Hercules Final Meditation. And Common Foil. We're not getting a lot of uh, two and three rare and mobile mythic packs in this box. So I don't know how well we're going to do here. We'll see. Uh, hey, there's another <laughs> Star Scream for the, the next uh, Transformer card. And then Well of Lost Dreams, Painful Quandary. Finally, a Mythic and two rares. You just gotta just gotta complain about it sometimes with these boxes. All right, three packs left. We need some good stuff in the clothes here. here. I guess you're probably gonna average two to three of the Transformers cards in a box if they're one in 10. So I think we're right on average now. Defense Grid. Cool card. Elsewhere flask again. Over the top. And a common foil. And a soldier token. All right. Two more to go. No box topper. That's a bummer. I like having the box toppers at the end of the box. Of course, in Dominary United, it didn't make any sense because they were worthless. Okay. Hey, we'll see. Self-assembler. Stasis coffin. And uncommon foil. And a flip token. Oh, terrible pack. We don't want that at the end. We want something good. Give us a big hit right here in the close. Come on. Schematic, Fall Flames, come on, something good, oh, I see Mythic, Sigil of Valor, Root Wire Amalgam, okay, that's not what I was hoping for, and a Soldier Token, all right, so we ended up with a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, can I count? That's uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, three of them were the retro frames, including the Aether Flex Reservoir, so... That's a nice one. And then we got two of the Transformers cards. We got Soundwave and Starscream. Uh, I love the Transformers. I think they totally fit the lore of this set. So I think it was a great addition. Uh, we got a lot of retro frames. Uh, Defense Grid was good. With all the streams. We did get a bobble in here. So that's good. Stars. Uh, Swiftfoot. So Quicksilver Amulets. A lot, of, a lot of good stuff in these. There's our bobble. Even though it's uncommon, it's... More valuable than most of the rares in here. Oh, the Guild of Lotus was nice. Oh, we got two bubbles. Ah, nice. Ivory Tower is good. Hasn't been printed in a long time. So there we go. I think overall it's probably a pretty decent box. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Don't forget to check out the description. Click some of those links. They really help out the channel. I truly appreciate it. Uh, even if you 
don't buy what's in the link on those Amazon links. If you just use that link to get to Amazon and purchase something else, it still helps out the channel. So I truly appreciate when you guys click those links down there. Check it out. My email's down there. My actual address down there. Thank you guys so much for your time, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.